guys, it's Broker Bears, and welcome back to my E5060 in the Liverpool Crema, where last time I left off. I talked about how a few different things, like, make the opening game of the Premier League season, and a certain ex little player who was trying to blame someone other than himself for why his career turned to shit. And there was something about playing two matches, including getting within one win of perfectly progressing and true to the knockout stages of the Champions League. But, yeah. There's only so much you can cover in half an hour, is there? In this episode, as you can see, I have a elite game against Leicester. Huh? I also have a cup of game against Barnsley. But you were probably all expecting it. And yes, this is a rant. Why is it we still haven't fixed this defensive problem? I mean... Why is it we sold more defenders this window than we probably ever sold in the past few years of the club's history? Seriously, how many defenders had to leave this season? Hmm. Not just defenders, players in general. Oh, oh. For top defending this I mean, season. Well, no one's gonna miss well, Christian Benteke. Yeah, uh, sure, Crystal Palace can try and get the best out of him. him. But Liverpool, because Liverpool was never ever the place for Christian Benteke. He, which is why he that was always doomed to fail. But goal threat with two strikers in the attack. We still haven't fixed Lawrence. the main defensive problem. You know what that defensive problem is? Left back. It, it says something. When we have such a crappy defensive performance that you miss Alberto Moreno. And James Milner, it's not his fault. It really isn't. He shouldn't be playing at left back. He isn't a left back. He is a center midfielder. Or a wide mid midfielder at so sometimes. But a defender, no, he is not. A defender, he is not. So he should not be our backup left back. He shouldn't need me to own as a possible left back. We should have a first choice quality left back. Like who plays every single game unless they are injured. Well, let's take another look at the goal. And our backup should be that twit we call Alberto Moreno. Oh. And that has opened the scoring. Well, oh, at least until Joe Gomez gets better. Or and heals from his injury. Cristiano Ronaldo. When Joe Gomez is going back, you build him up to Liverpool. He a prop. Be he a good F back option. I mean, we saw a glimpses of what Joe could do last season before he got injured. Bottom left from that distance, incredible. And I know you're probably all saying, "He, he, yourself." Not this crap again. But Liverpool will get the throw. It's the, it's. I, I'm a, I don't want to be here talking about this any more than you guys want to listen to me talking about this, because it's almost Arsenal level of bad. We have no recognized left back, and anyone who tries to say, "Oh, you have a Bordeaux Moreno," he isn't a left back. 
he can go. S I won't say why I was good. It's not very nice. But still, he could go oh, absolutely piss off. He is not a left back. He is not. He's not a left back. And if he didn't prove that last season, he emphasized that last week during the game against Arsenal. And Liverpool putting on a master when he was horribly he, he, Richie Delat. He out position for the Theo Walcott goal. Never mind that less than a minute before that he'd given away the penalty for that luckily he was saved. And well, well, I'm not Minulay's biggest fan, and I never will be. I got if the guy cry, he, he made a good save. He, he from the penalty, but then he completely fucked up by not even bothering to try and save the Theo Walcott follow-up shot. And he bangs it away. He's put it out. It's gone out for a corner. But, for once, Minulay wasn't the problem. It wasn't Minulay's fault. Minulay was not at fault for the penalty. Minulay, he actually did his job. He saved the penalty. He did what he could for the penalty. But for the... So they're looking for more at 4-0. The goal... Yeah, he could have done better. The Theo Walcott goal, he could have done better. Neymar. And I think, think deflection or not, he could have done better for the Chamberlain goal. Alex Oxley, Chamberlain goal as well. Bale. All, all those goals were pretty avoidable. Well, if I'm being honest. It's a cross from Gareth Bale. That match... Could have probably should have been four nil to Liverpool. For throw. But our poor defending costs us, and it cost us again yesterday. Nice safe to play it back to the goalkeeper. He's now credit to speed. Burnley. They did what they needed to do. They he did the right thing from their club's perspective, and they did what everyone else would have done and what everyone else is going to do now because they know well, they've already seen how poor Liverpool are going to be at the back this season unless we fix the problem and well two good games five conceded four scored now probably saying well defensively that doesn't sound too bad but offensively there's there's you know, signs of hope. Not really. Not when you consider one game we scored four goals. The very next game, we yeah, it was like we had no one on the pitch, pitch who was capable of finding the net. Coutinho was anonymous. Sturge had probably the worst game of his life. And as much as it pains me to say, I think Sturge is done. I think he's done. I don't want to say he should retire. I don't. I don't think. I mean, maybe there's somewhere he can go where his injuries wouldn't be a, that big of an issue, and he can hmm, have a relatively decent run. I mean, maybe the opposition can score the same in the second half. I doubt it, but we perhaps live in not so second half underway. Taxing league. Maybe. I mean, maybe he should go to PS. G and take Ebra's place. It was a rash challenge, and it is a red card. Well, the way he's gone into that tackle, he's left the referee. Freaking really? That's twice this season. Lawrence. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I, I, I just, I think his time at Liverpool is done. I mean, Royce. Yes, when when he's fit, Daniel Sturridge is probably one of the best strikers in the league. He could 
he can terrorize any defense. It's on his day. But he's just never fit anymore. He's either always getting injured or he's, he's just never... He's just... And when he was fit briefly last season, he just didn't show the form that... Gives away the free kick. Made him one half of the SAS combo. You look at that Sturge compared to the Sturge that is there now, and you think, what happened? I mean, just a heavy touch, the opposition I get it. injuries can be taxing, but I just think... EA Sports continues its coverage. We shouldn't prioritize Sturge because he... Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters. Well, I do still believe overall he might still be our best striker. In terms of... Of fitness and they've lost the ball. Goal for ability and stuff like that and reliability. I think Sturridge's time at Liverpool is done, and I mean that's gonna be hard for a lot of Liverpool fans. Some Liverpool fans may have already given up on Sturridge because of all the time he spent injured. I mean, I think there was a lot of us who were just waiting for him to fall over injured heard at some point last Easy season but he didn't luckily but I think Liverpool should should sell Daniel Sturge get get whatever money we can now no chance for the Daniel Sturridge at the height of his no goal scoring so peak today, back when he was team, fully fit it banging goals. goals. Well, it's like I said, it's part of the him and Suarez partnership. And we could have probably gotten for he no, plus mil for Sturridge. If we're lucky, we could maybe get 12 to 15 if we're lucky. I don't know if there's any team that you know, would spend so much on a player who's they can't guarantee will play a lot of games. Which is why as much as I don't want this, I think Daniel Sturridge should just step aside, should just leave Le um, maybe there is somewhere that he can go that would sue him better, but right, but at Liverpool, back to his we can't have our, we can't place our hopes on trying to get a player who may never be fully fit again. He may never be fully fit again. He may be fit to play matches again, but he is... I don't think he's ever going to recover from all these injuries. So the corner about to be taken. I mean, now... Good clearance. We've got a corner now. Like I said, I think a team like maybe PSG would sue him because PSG normally dominates the French League anyway. To find the top right. In, you know... French League is much different. It's an uh, animal than the Premier League. So, I mean. Or anywhere. Any. I mean. I wouldn't encourage selling him to a Premier League rival. Not that I don't. I don't think there is a Premier League team that would take him. And even and if they were quick break. like in threat of in on the brink of relegation, I don't think they'd take the chance on hoping that Daniel Sturridge might come fit. It's just this such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. 
not a good scenario. And I think Mark Albright. Like I said, we should sell Daniel Storage, get get wherever we can for him. Shot. And play Divock Origi. Play Divock Origi as our star striker every single game. I think Divock Origi he could be the next Daniel Sturridge in terms of Liverpool. Like, we could turn him into the player that Daniel Sturridge was. Because on his day, he firing goals. It was like I just destroyed Leicester right there. Or, like, I mean, we saw what, briefly, what... He can do last season before her that fuck face Funes Mari got him injured. So I think if we play Divokarigi up top up and I th think that would be the best option. Now, I would still like to see other strikers get their opportunities, like guys like Danny Ings or Roberto from me, you know, can play up there as well. Oh, but I think Divock Rigi is really. I think he's our best striker. I know Daniel Sturridge is around and. Technically, goal-wise, he's... But, I'm talking about a consistent basis. Origi will, will overall become a better player than Sturge on a consistent basis. Because, you just can't rely on Daniel Sturge anymore on a consistent basis. And I wish that wasn't the case, but it is. Unfortunately, it is. So... Here's So that is what should happen. Daniel Sturridge needs to be moved on. Get whatever money we can for him. Mm. Mm. And you know put Origi up top. That that sorts out Oh, with the uh, relying on hoping that Daniel Sturridge gets fit situation. That sorts that out. Now, defensively, simple. Just sign a left back. I mean, Jonas Hector. We were pretty much dead on signing him. And, and pretty much it said, you know what, yeah, we're going to get him after the Euros. Yeah, the Euros ended about a month and a half ago, and we still haven't signed him. I mean... He's won, I know Alan's keeping an eye on him. Just saying? Previous match. A clear danger man for the opposition. Oh no, I think. This is the I'm signing a left back. I mean, it doesn't have to be John Sector. I mean, we know how good John Sector is. And I think he would be a top quality choice. I know he is the player I am looking at for my career mode when I get FIFA 17, whether he is signed with Liverpool or not. Hopefully, I won't need to sign him, but if he hasn't signed, I will. Yeah, a little diamond in midfield, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised at some point. If it's not working, he'll go to a conventional 4 4 2. I'm a far superior manager to everyone, including Jurgen Klopp. Apparently, he is. 
I mean, he clearly sees that Moreno is a problem. Otherwise, he wouldn't have put Milner in at left back against Burnley. And here comes the counter attack. So, and they managed to score here. It's not like he doesn't see he that there's a problem back there. Well, the keeper. It just seemingly it's like a Arsene Wenger type of situation that there is a problem and money needs to be spent on a top quality player to fix it but for some reason he's ignoring the problem he's just like no it's Smith I mean I hope that's not the case I hope Jurgen Klopp isn't ignoring the problem and just hoping everyone forgets because we're not gonna forget because we have to constantly watch Alberto Moreno or James Miller, for God's sake. He don't put James Miller in at left back again. I mean, we want James to play, especially after all the assists he got last season. But play him in the center of midfield. Like, you know, instead of Jordan Henderson. I mean, I know Jordan Henderson is the captain, but he is not a defensive midfielder. Past his man there. Or where the hell is Emre Chan? That is his position. Top corner. Special and for God's sake. And if you don't want to play Chan as an out and out defensive midfielder, sign in someone you do because Henderson is not a defensive midfielder. Now, Grant. It, neither is James Milner, but James Milner would probably do, do a decent job there. To the point where safety first, it wouldn't be seen as an issue. And he could get away here. Shots on here. Well, he tried to hit it first time from a good pass, but the shot wasn't good. No, I think it was the right decision to take it on. First so, um... He had to get the connection right. That is the best way to do it, and especially now, because you have even more money to spend. I mean, like I said, we just got rid of Christian Benteke. We actually got 32 million, well, we got 27 plus 5 in additional fee. So, uh, 27 now. 27 is going to be plenty. Here's Roberts. He. Reports say that U.S. You know, Hector would cost us 25 million. That was a very well timed that's, per that's perfect. That would be perfect. Spend, give him the 25 million, and, and you can say, hey, we'll give Liverpool. you an extra 7 million in add ons. Boom. You know, it's Hector. That is a terrific header. Unlucky, it's just off. Her will be a literal play. Her like that. You probably didn't hear me snap my fingers. But I'm making a goddamn point. Here's Roberts. The problem is there. It's an easy fix. And if you don't think you know, Hector is the player for loop, pull. Well then, we have other options. We could go for from the player I've been using for for five straight seasons now, Ricardo Rodriguez. Yes. He is a fantastic player, and he is going to keep growing into an even better player as he continues to develop at Wolfsburg. Throw in a bit to Wolfsburg, or show them that you were are determined to get your man and don't show them that we're desperate but make them know that we're not, not gonna hit, take this slightly he like throw in hmm, 28 28 is at least a starting bit because Rodriguez could easily cost over 30 he, he is that good he is that good 
And I've not only playing with a virtual version, but I've seen him play for Wolfsburg, and we saw him in playing for uh, Switzerland during the Euros. He was very good. It, it, and if given the opportunity, he will shine as a Liverpool player. If you don't want Jonas Hector, then he is the next logical choice. Or, if you want to go crazy, go to Bayern Munich and say, hey, he 50 or a million, give us the Havala. Make them sell him. If many I can make Pogba available, then for fuck's sake, he, he, anyone is available for the right price. You just have to figure out what the price is and fucking pay it. And if I have any Arsenal viewers that are probably saying, Man, if only Wenger could hear this. Because while it's a different, it's different positions for Arsenal. It's pretty much the same, same thing. You have to find the player that will fix what you need done. You've make if you've. If they have a valuation, meet that valuation. If they don't have a valuation, make them have a valuation. That's a good cross. Because and he's taken the chance beautifully. We are definitely in a world of professional football where money talks. You pay the right amount of money, you get the player you want. It's that freaking simple. And with TV oh, deals and, and, and sponsorships and all that good stuff, there is no excuse anymore. There is no excuse why Liverpool shouldn't splash the cash on a top quality left back. And there's no excuse why a team like Arsenal shouldn't get a 30 plus striker as much as it would benefit Liverpool if they didn't have one. And it would make the Premier League more exciting well, and if they did. It, and if they get a top quality center back. Boom. You just have to pay the right amount of money. I'm 21 years old this year, ladies and gentlemen. And I know that more than some of the professional old managers who are paid six-figure sums. Like, and don't know the simple first rule of football that was top left -hand corner. nowadays and that is money equals success don't believe me PSG Real Madrid Manchester City it's turning out to be a, a comfortable game this 4-0 you get the right player you have to spend money don't spend money, you're not going to get any better, and the team is going to fall behind all of their rivals. Liverpool want to get top four for this year? Unless we get a top quality left back, it's not gonna fucking happen. We need a top quality left back. And we need one now. Like, right now. So, you're gonna sign him up. I don't care who you pick, you have plenty of options. Sign someone up. Sign someone. Anyone. Anyone can replace Marina. Oh. Oh, like I. I've said before, I could get some random dude off the street and he would do a better job than Alvaro Moreno. Grant, they'd have to be semi competent in what a left back has to do. Who would not be a midfielder just chucked in there for reasons. It's like you did with James Milner. Or, but. Um, but we need a top quality left back. Heck, get out and sign one. Stop wasting in time. 
hanging on to the cash doing an Arsene Wenger. Don't make this a 10 year problem like Arsenal have. And it's a perfect day for the player. Because any Arsenal fan will, will happily tell you that they've been without a top goal. He striker since Bro Van Persie was goals now. He's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all salt. And he thoroughly deserves that hat Olivier Giroud, who is a decent player, but he's never gonna be a third he's goal a season so player. Today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goal. Er. Daniel Welbeck is almost always getting injured. He's Arsenal's equivalent of Daniel Sturridge. It's not a problem for this team, is it? No, I think their manager will be delighted because they've not uh, taken it easily at all. They've given respect How he to get opponents. Welbeck has been injured probably more time in his Arsenal career than Jack Wilshere. Her. Who is... He's got a chance to cross. Whose nickname is Jack Wheelchair? For fuck's sake. Had to really reach out for that. Well, no fans will tell you who happily what the problem is with their team because they all know. Oh. Their manager doesn't freaking know because he's an idiot. Jurgen, we believe that you have the brains. Just freaking do it. And do it quickly. Because we cannot go into the next game, Megan. Now Williams. And Spurs with that weak ass defense. It just can't happen. No doubt about the destiny of this game from because early on in it. If Burnley, if Burnley can score two against us, imagine what Harry Kane can do against that defense. Especially if there's no top quality recognized left back. I've said my piece. He's, he's now is up to all of you. Ooh. Leave your comments in the comment section below on your opinion and, and on the problems at Liverpool Football Club because there is problems. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this episode. Hold hit. The subscribe button if you're new to the channel so you don't miss any future content and until next time I hope you all have a very very nice day peace